This is an unprecedented and historic moment, and I think we all expect that there will be big changes that um, are to come once we're on the other side of this. If you're thinking about the nature of work, um, employee benefits, workplace culture, remote connection, economic policy, um, there are several things that I think uh, we'll see start to find uh, to to take a shift. Um, if you are talking to a leader or an employee at a company, what um, what is your perspective on how they can use their individual or collective role to help advocate uh, and shape policies and these new norms that we're starting to see today? Most companies are not accustomed to listening to employees talk about their lives. You know, the employee goes to work, they do a job, they they leave. And I think even before the crisis, those lines were starting to get blurred more, right? With, with conversations, um, you know, people have been talking about paid leave and fighting for it for a very long time. It wasn't until it smacked us in the face in this crisis that we realized how important it is. And I do think that is a silver lining in all of this, is that policies around caretaking are going to be accelerated. And that, um, that would be an example of sweeping change, but it's, it, it took this moment in time for us to realize it. I think there's all of these different historical moments that, that create an interesting public private um, uh, coming together to negotiate for the the greater good. I think, you know, World War II and 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 you know, my company is called the Riveter because of Rosie the Riveter and women saying, okay, the men are off fighting. We need to roll up our sleeves and do the jobs that they used to do. Um, the difference there was that the federal government provided nationalized child care because they knew that these women were the sole provider, you know, sole uh, caretakers. And now that they were building airplane parts on, and, and working in factories, someone had to watch their children. And I think that um, it's interesting that this $2.2 trillion bill to take care of people during this crisis um, gets at that, but still puts the emphasis and the responsibility on the caretaker, not on the government and not on the, uh, the corporation. Um, I haven't had a chance to like really dig deep into the, the rules um, yet, but you know, our friend and, and colleague Katie Bethel at Paid Leave US did a great talk um, the other day just about how this paid leave is going to be um, huge, hugely impactful for so many families, whether you're taking care of someone who is sick right now or you need to take care of your family um, because you have no other childcare option during this time. Paid leave, that really is an issue that a uh, consortium of companies could come together and own and work together to really push that policy over the finish line.